Pen friends, this is Sarah and Eve and Chip. So Chip is my husband, Eve's dad, and we're really excited to have him on our show today. We're celebrating something. What is that? We're celebrating um, 400 subscribers. Like when my mom told me about this, it was like 401. <laughs> Yeah, that one extra subscriber. If they're watching right now, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Chip said that he would join us when we reached 400 subscribers, at least just for this this video. Um, and so we're going to be swatching 12 different inks today. And I'll teach Dada how to swatch. Yep. Yep, never swatched before. And then what are we going to do to celebrate 400 subscribers? We're going to be doing a giveaway of some inks. Yep, so Yay. we're going to give a sample away of each of the 12 inks that we're swatching today. So um, we're going to draw a name this Friday, October 22nd, um, 2021. And um, 20, 20, what, what, what year is it? Okay. Uh -huh. And what um, is it? yeah, well... We'll pick a name on Friday and from the people that have commented on this video and subscribed to our channel. So those are the only things you need to do. Um, subscribe and leave a comment under this video. And if we choose your name, then we'll, um, you'll see in our next video. Yeah. All right, so let's go over to the swatching table. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I forgot to say before that this giveaway is open to anyone in the world. The first ink that we're gonna swatch is Robert Oster Crimson. Yeah, and I'm gonna swatch the first six, and Dad will swatch the last six. Yeah, so Eve is gonna demonstrate okay. to her dad how to do this. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so Dad. Yeah. What you just wanna do is you take the brush. And you move it around so that the ink gets everywhere in the square, or it's probably a rectangle because you know, humans are not perfect. Very nice. Okay, there's my swatch. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is what is it, Mom? Diamine oxblood. Yeah. But diamine pumpkin pumpkin would probably be uh, orange. So I'm expecting kind of like a, maybe a fall color. Well, I, have we already done fall colors? Yes, we have. And oh, we may yeah, have yeah. swatched some of these before, but I just wanted to have like a variety of colors for the giveaway. Yeah, and these first three are gonna be red, but I think there's gonna be like oranges and other colors too. So our next one is K KWZ Grapefruit. Oh, that's a nice shade of red. Yeah, it looks like a reddy orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people might call it red, some people might call it orange. It's a reddy orange. There's going to be at least two <laughs> of each color. So okay. our next ink is J. Herbine Lyra, Lyra Sauvage. Oh, we're not doing yellow, are we? No, I don't have any yellow inks. No, like ye yellow on white. No. So we're skipping yellow. Sorry for all you yellowing fans out there. And what I really like about swatching is that we use different brushes for each swatch. And some feel kind of hard like this one. And some feel kind of bendable and soft. But I like the variety. So, the name of this ink means wild ivy, I think, okay. in French. Alright, our next ink is Ackermann um, Denewig Groen. Okay. Ooh, this is like, this is pretty. It's like a... Be quiet, bunny, please. No, it's not like a... Uh, it's like... A, um, a bluey green. I really mm -hmm. like bluey greens. So, I like this one. Our next ink is Diamine Pumpkin. And that's um, kind of good because it's this, the season of Halloween. Um, 
so pumpkins would be carved in this season so um we actually have pumpkins that we're getting to carve so this is very appropriate for the season that we're in since it's you know done on pumpkin and pumpkins are out like tons of pumpkins now some orange inks have a tendency to crust up on the nib but you just need to um, wash it off it comes off really easily all right thank you eve and now chip's gonna do some okay. swatching for the first time dad i hope you're good at this okay wish me luck good luck good luck so Chip will be swatching Noodler's 54th, Massachusetts. I find that 54th, Massachusetts um, spreads a little bit when you're writing with it, so it will make your nib seem a little bit wider than it actually is. And the next ink is Dimine Aqua Lagoon. Come please stop making noise. Come so this one, this one's more blue than Danawag grown. I think um, Danawag is kind of like our, one of our favorite inks, which is Roran Klingner um, Smaragda grown. Oh, that's my green. favorite! Is this like a blue version of that? Where yeah. Your that, favorite is green? That isn't. That isn't green at all. No, it's not. Dimine Aqua Lagoon is more of a turquoise. All right, um, our next ink is Dimine Amazing Amethyst. I really like the purples. Ooh, this is a nice dark color. I think the purples color. and pinks are really, really beautiful. My Favorite inks are purples and pinks. I think <laughs> maybe it's looking dark because it's just pulling up, but when it mm. dries, it might look a bit lighter. Next is Noodler's X Feather. No, it's also sometimes feather. known as Anti Feather. It's supposed to keep um, when you're writing with a pen, it keeps it from feathering. No and feather. And you. This is a permanent ink. Um, but it does take a little while to dry, so it's not like permanent right away. It does tend to smudge for a while um, until it's really dry. And it's a black ink, if I didn't say that before. Oh. I don't know why I would want to swatch different black <laughs> unless they're like a really dark gray because grays can be lots of different shades that look almost like black our next but black ink is, black. is noodler's north african violet and i think that's the ultimate um the ultimate one or the ink <laughs> ultimate one <laughs> Um, so this is also a permanent ink, so you want to be careful with permanent inks in demonstrator pens because they can be kind of hard to wash out of your pen. Also, um, yeah, they just take a little bit more cleaning to get out of your pen, but this is a really pretty color. All right, and our last ink that we're swatching today is Papier Plume Mardi Gras Indian's purple. Oh, very nice. Look. All right. Do you think that Dad did a good job swatching? Uh, what grade would you give my swatching? Um, I would give it. A plus. A plus. Oh, wow. wow. Good job. Thank you. you. Do it like as good as I do. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little break and then come back when this is dried to give you a closer look of what they what the inks look like when they're dry. Okay. Okay. I think the inks have dried, so let's take a closer look at them. Um, I think all three of the Noodler's inks that we swatched are um, permanent. I think 54th Massachusetts is also permanent. So, looking at this 
Robert Oscar Crimson. It's like a light red. Um, I don't see any sheen, but maybe some shading. Um, I see a bit of sheen on the edges of Diamine Oxblood, yeah. where like the edges of where I painted have mm -hmm. a bit of orange sheen. I think you might be blocking the light. Can you come over this way a little? Um, and then Diamine Oxblood is a really well-known ink. It's a nice dark red KWZ grapefruit. I'm not seeing really any sheen on, um, I'm not really seeing any sheen on these. I see a lot of sheen on KWZ grapefruit. I do? Oh, yeah. A lot of sheen. Okay. Um... So I'm sitting in a different place, so, so I can see the things. Lyra, Sauv Lyra Sauvage is a nice kind of grassy green, like a yellowish green. And then Dynoid Glowin is that um, kind of a emerald green. And Diamond Pumpkin, that's a really bright color. Um, so it's good for like um, drawing attention to notes. 54th Massachusetts has sort of a woolly look or kind of a kind of like a matte texture to it. Yeah, very matte. Aqua Lagoon um, this is a favorite of a lot of people and I think that one would have a little bit of sheen on it. A little bit of red sheen. I don't see any sheen. Um, amazing Amethyst looking pretty dark here, but my impression of it with pens is it's, it's a little bit light. Oh, I see some sheen on it now from, from an angle. It's like green sheen right here. X Feather is a really nice dark black. Kind of a shiny black too, as you can see from the side angle. North African Violet is a great choice if you want an exciting um, color that's permanent. And then Papier Plume Mardi Gras um, Indian's Purple. Um, I find that Papier Plume inks always shade really well. And they're kind of, so do Lyra Sauvage. I mean, so do um, J. Herbine inks. They, they shade really well usually. So I think that's a nice variety of colors. Yes, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing some sheen on that grapefruit now. Um, all right, so I hope that you enter this giveaway. Just leave a comment for us in the comment section, and we'll see you on Friday to see who won a sample of each of these inks. Yes. All right. Thanks, pen friends. Okay. Bye. 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 Put your hands on the. Oh. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, all the hands. <laughs> all the hands are taking.